up, it's Spartacus here, and I am back for another Blackrock Mountain card preview. Two cards were released today, and I'm going to preview them and tell you what I think about these two cards. Um, so without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Uh, the first card is Black Ring, Blackwing Corruptor. It is a 5 mana 5-4 uh, that has a battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, deal 3 damage. So I like to look at this card like a fire elemental. Um, because the stats are 1-1 one, one less for the cost of 1-1 one, one less with the same battle cry. Now obviously there's a stipulation that you're holding a dragon, so this card is significantly worse than Fire Elemental in Arena, because in Arena, you know, can't count on that kind of synergy. Now in Constructed though, if you were running a dragon deck, I think it's safe to assume you're going to be holding like dragons almost at all times. Obviously, if you top deck this, it's worse, and there are you can slightly downgrade it because it does have this stipulation. But I think it's worth assuming that you're going to be holding dragons. Now, here's the problem with the card: it's another mid kind of late game ish card, and so far this whole dragon theme is all late game. Like we have the big, you know, the big dragons, the big aspects. And then there's the Blackwing Technician, which is just a 3-drop. Um, and then there's a 4-drop and a 5-drop. But, you know, you can't just have drops on curve. You need to also have removal and other things. Obviously, you can run that. But it just... So far, everything we've gotten is late game. There is the Dragon Egg, but it's not a dragon. So... It doesn't really have that whole dragon synergy until it hits the board and so far there are no cards with synergy uh, for other dragons that are on the board so right now we just have a bunch of late game and nothing that is good enough in the early game to be able to stop aggression so so far it looks like this dragon deck is going to be a control deck that's going to have a tough time against aggro which means that it won't be able to work in many metas now this is, you know, temp I'm just saying this right now with what we've seen. So we'll see. Maybe there's, you know, some two drop dragon that has taunt or something that's able to stop some sort of aggression or I don't know. I, I don't know what else they have coming, but the card is good. There's no doubt about that. It's just that is there going to be enough early game in this deck so far? Because right now we're just seeing a lot of mid and late game creatures. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but overall solid card in Arena, a bigger downgrade, but if there you do get a bunch of dragons, it's going to be pretty powerful in Arena. So uh, on to the second card. Second card is Dragon's Breath. It's a 5 mana mage spell. Uh, deal 4 damage, costs 1 less for each minion that died this turn. So when you look at this card originally, uh, at least when I did, and I've seen a lot of comments so far about it, people just think it's crap. First is that it's 5 for 4, so if there's nothing on board, that's a really bad deal. The second is that Mage doesn't need any more, you know, removal or damage spells. They already have a bunch, so why add even more? Uh, which is a valid point. And, you know, what's the point of it, basically? So, I was trying to rack my brain about where this could fit and construct it, and I came up with something, and... Tell me if you agree on this. This card might work in Freeze Mage. Now, the reason it might work in Freeze Mage is that you can combo it with one of your board clears. So if you Flame Strike and you kill a bunch of things, then this might cost one mana for four damage, which is pretty sweet. The problem is that you'd already have to have your Alex Straza down. So it's like... I don't really know if it quite works in that scenario. That's the only way, though, I really see it seeing any play in Constructed. Like, there are a lot of minion-heavy decks for Mage, but they already have Frostbolt and Fireball. So what's the point of this? And Flame Cannon, if you're looking for just removal, not direct damage. So there's too many spells in Mage right now for this to really work out. Now, in Arena, this card's actually better than you think it is. Because Arena is such a minion trading game that you trade one minion into another one on the board and suddenly this is three mana deal four damage, which is completely reasonable. 
I mean, Shadow Bolt is three mana four deal or deal four damage to a minion, and it's a great Warlock card. Now, obviously, Mage, like we talked about, does have more removal than Warlock, but if you do need some removal, and this does come up, don't be too afraid to pick it. I feel like a lot of the time you'll be able to get the three mana four damage deal, which is not bad, uh, in all honesty. So in Arena, it's probably not terrible, and. Um, you might have to pick it every now and then. So, overall though, pretty poor card. So, that's my assessment of these two. Uh, tell me what you think. Agree, disagree? Excited for the new cards? Hopefully there are some early game dragons or something, because so far, this dragon deck is looking back heavy, and it needs some help early on. I don't know. Maybe it would work in Warrior. I guess we'll see.